One way we can help a website rank better on popular search engines like Google and Yahoo is by making sure that we include our business's contact information, like its physical address, telephone and email address, on our website. Now, this is pretty much obvious to do, and most people do this. The problem, and this actually presents smart folks like us with an opportunity to outperform our competitors, is that most business owners aren't putting this vital information on their website in the correct way. The main reason I say that is because they're not including this information in a way that is consistent across platforms. For instance, if on one web page their address is uh, 123 Example Road, and then maybe on another website uh, or web page it's Demo Circle or something like that because that they might have changed locations, or maybe they're just structuring the phone number in a slightly different way on Facebook than they are on their existing website. That might seem like a trivial mistake to you, but it's actually very important to Google because Google references multiple online properties when they're ranking your website. And if you're doing it consistently, it considers your business as being up to date and authoritative as opposed to if it's sharing information with Google bots in a variety of different ways. The other way that people make mistakes here is that they're not marking up this information using HTML5 markup to make this data structured and easy for the Google bots to crawl it and serve it up to searchers. The good news is that it's really easy to do uh, to do this and I'm going to show you exactly how. Okay, so for starters, we're just going to use um, uh, for demonstration purposes here, we're just going to take uh, my company's information and we're going to put this into a structured format using the proper markup. So here's the before and our goal is to mark this up. The fastest way that I've found to do this, and it's not a perfect way, but I'll show you how we can make it perfect is by using a tool by Raven called Schema Creator. So you can access it by going to schema-creator.org and then click on Organization. Once you get here, fill out these fields. I actually have not included the URL description or address because I have a PO box and I'm gonna put this in the footer so it doesn't really make sense for me to include the URL there or the description given the fact that they're already on my website. Once you've entered in that information, it's going to populate some code over here on the right. And it's also going to give you a preview of that information here in this preview box. Now, this does get us out of the gates really nice and quick, but the problem is it's actually not done in the best way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to paste this in the same document. And the reason that this is somewhat flawed is because it's using the item type of schema.org slash organization. But this really isn't an organization. What this is, according to um, schema.org's documentation, is it's a local business. And so this would be okay if we uh, just left it in local business, but it's even that isn't precise enough to our taste. So there, for instance, there are a variety of different item types, just like there are a variety of different business types. One way that you could dig in and try to figure out the different local businesses and markup that is associated with those business types is by going to schema.org and then navigating down to local business. From there, you can scroll down and see that there are a lot of different types of businesses here. So, for instance, if you have a child care business, uh, there's a different markup than if you have a radio station business. So, take a look here and see if this satisfies your particular company. Now, there's even a better resource in terms of finding the specific item type for your business, and it's accessible here. And I'll include this in the description of the video, but one nice gentleman has put this together and it's just an open Google Drive uh, spreadsheet where it lists on the left the types of business and then on the right your schema.org type. Now, in my case, what we do is search engine optimization, web, and software design. So I looked that up and essentially I think it falls under marketing and marketing is associated with, uh, let's just find it for demonstration purposes, 
marketing consultant, that's associated with professional service. So that is the correct schema type for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that. Now if I go back to this and paste it in, let's see if this is gonna work, whoops. Boom, professional service. All right, great. So that's it, you've actually created your markup here. Now note, I'm actually not including the telephone number here, nor am I including the email address. So we could actually go beyond, go further than this and add these two items below. All right, so let's take this telephone number and then let's take this email address and paste it in here. All I'm doing is control C, control V, <clears throat> or command C or command V on a Mac. And uh, let's see, whoops. I made a mistake there, didn't I? I was talking while typing. Never a good combo. All right. Now, this item prop is email for email address. And then what's going to be telephone is simply telephone. So I'm going to redo this one, second time's a charm. And I found that this is actually the preferred format for phone numbers. So it is the area code in parentheses and then the local telephone number, okay? And then I'm just going to delete this to tighten it up a bit. And now we are definitely ready to go ahead, copy this and paste it into our WordPress or just any website. Now, one thing I wanna point out is you can go back to schema.org and there are a variety of different uh, HTML5 markups that we could add to make it even easier for the Google bots to crawl our information. You can include things like who the founder is, what your fax number is. You can even include testimonials or reviews, photos, and even the logo. So there's a lot of, there are a lot of options that are available to you. And I welcome you to go to schema.org to dig into it further if you have the time and interest. But for now, I think we're good. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.